So hi and welcome to this video. So today what I'm going to be doing is starting a new series called Learn JavaScript. And for those of you that don't know what JavaScript is, it's just a programming language that is uh, run inside of a web browser normally that uh, is used to make the webs to, used to make websites more interactive and um, well, for example, it, you could use JavaScript to submit a form without refreshing the page, or you could use JavaScript to um, uh, I don't know, make a menu that was uh, that had fading animations and things like that. Or you could use JavaScript to do basically anything on a web page that looks cool. You could even use JavaScript with other languages like HTML to um, make things like video players so you could customize HTML um, using JavaScript and uh, JavaScript just makes it a lot easier to do uh, interactive things and make websites more interesting and fun. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you and as you can see normally I use index.php for my videos but to keep things simple uh, I'm just going to be using h .h or index.html because uh, we're not using PHP in these videos we're just using HTML and JavaScript and the HTML is just uh, to show you a basic structure of a web page. Uh, the main focus is obviously JavaScript. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a basic HTML web page or a uh, HTML5 web page. Whoops. Um, so I'm just going to do it as quickly as I can. And I'll give it a title as well. Okay, so there's our basic web page, and if we refresh the page, we can just see it's a blank page with the title that says Learn JavaScript. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to show you where uh, to put JavaScript on a web page. So normally you put JavaScript in the head section of a web page, and you don't just start writing it like this. Whoops. Uh, you don't just start writing it like this and then just start writing JavaScript. You have to surround it in uh, special tags called script tags. Um, or you can include it in a separate file called a JavaScript file. But for this video, I'm just going to use the script tags. So the first thing we do is we create a script tag, and then we close the script tag off. And then what we do is we set um, type equals text slash JavaScript. And that's it. Now we're ready to start writing JavaScript and some browsers as you might know old browsers don't support JavaScript and um, some people have it turned off so if you want to um, uh, only want your JavaScript code to uh, turn up whenever the uh, person's JavaScript is on it's a good idea to do this to surround it um, in HTML comment This way, only browsers that can actually understand JavaScript will run it. So um, I'm just going to write uh, hello world to the screen because that's generally what people do when they start learning a new programming language. So in things like Python, you can just write print, uh, oops, uh, print hello world. Um, and in PHP, you could write that with a semicolon. But in JavaScript, it's a little bit different. And I'm just going to undo these uh HTML comments just to make it a bit easier to read. So uh, in JavaScript, all you have to do is write document dot. So document dot write, and this is a function uh, within the uh, document. So uh, you, if you want to target something in the document itself, you write document dot, and then you tell it what you want to do. So in this case, I want to write some text out. So I use write. Or the write function, and I'm just going to write hello world. And as you can see now, we have hello world outputted to the screen. And uh, you'll also notice that uh, all your JavaScript code that you write is visible in the source code of a web page because it's uh, it's executed on the client side; it's not actually executed on the server. That's why you can turn off JavaScript. So what I'm going to show you now is uh, what it looks like when you have JavaScript turned off. So I just turned JavaScript off and I'm going to refresh the page and as you can see nothing shows up because this is a modern browser. But in other browsers what could happen is it would execute, it would just display all this text. So what we want to do is we just want to surround these in, or this in the HTML tags as I said earlier. And just to make sure in case the person's using an, um, an older browser 
because uh, as you can see now, um, I am using an up-to-date version of Chrome. So, um, see I'm using Chrome 27 or whatever, so that's why it um, displays, um, or doesn't display the JavaScript code. So the next thing we want to do is I'm going to show you how to uh, include JavaScript from an external file. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say script. We're going to use our script tags again and we're going to close them off. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say um, href. And we're just going to say um, my file.js for JavaScript. And we also have to say type equals text slash JavaScript. So now we're going to create that JavaScript file. Uh, and I'm just going to save it as a JavaScript file. So my file.js. And here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write document.write. This is some, some JavaScript code running from an external file. And now if we refresh the page, whoops, oh, I forgot to turn JavaScript back on, so I'll do that now. So uh, as you can see now, if I refresh, okay, we have a problem. Um, okay, yeah, I need to change that to source. So if we uh, refresh now, we should, whoops, that was from another video. Uh, we should just get actual echo that the JavaScript code is running from an external file. And that's exactly what we put in the external JavaScript file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just do some simple uh, things with variables. So what we're going to do is we're just going to create a variable called my variable. And the way you create a variable in JavaScript is really simple. You just type the word var. Then you give your variable a name, which in my case is my variable. And then I set it equal to what I want it to equal. So I'll just say test. Then if I want to write that variable out, I would just say document.write. Oh, I actually get rid of these. So what I would just write is uh, my variable. Then I would save the file. And now I'm going to go to my browser and I'm going to refresh. And as you can see, we get echoed out test. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to also like the series and favorite this, or I mean, subscribe to the series if you enjoy it. And I will see you next time.